Hello. I'm a bit embarrassed about this video because I'm normally quite a clean and organised person but the two wardrobes behind me are a mess and it's time to sort them out. So I'm going to pull everything out today, declutter them and try and organise them as best as I can. This one is full of winter clothes which is fine normally but we're currently experiencing 25 degree weather in Durham and I have nothing to wear. So I need to take all those out of there and bring down some boxes of summer clothes that I've got in storage upstairs. And then this one is just full, but to about here, of just random crap that I just keep shoving in and hoping for the best. But whenever I try and get a pair of shoes or a bag, everything falls out and it's stressful. So I'm going to declutter them and hopefully get rid of a lot of stuff. And by get rid of, I'm not actually giving them away or selling them. I'm quite a hoarder, so I'll just put them in a storage box and put them upstairs. Or give them to my nieces but we'll just see what happens. But I hope you'll enjoy this video and you might want to grab a cup of tea because I have a feeling it'll be a long one. And I think we'll start with this one because the bottom part of this wardrobe stresses me out. So let's have a look. So it's pretty bad. I've got coats, waistcoats and long dresses up the top here. And then on the bottom, I've just got random stuff. I've got pyjamas, shoes, bags, um, a heater blanket. There was some order to it when I first decorated this room. It was supposed to be shoes and pyjamas. So I'm going to try and keep it like that. So I'm going to pull everything out, put it into categories, and I think that'll make it a little bit more manageable and easier to go through. I got this apron from Team U last week. How cute is that? But it needs to go in the kitchen and the utility. Not in there. Pyjamas. Shoes. 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 This is my old laptop. I have no idea where the charger is, um, but it has all my passwords on for every single app and I can't get on it until I find the charger. So I'm hoping it's in here. But that is just tech stuff and a broken mirror, which I'm still sad about because that was my favourite. Got that from Primark for £2.50 um, about six years ago. So I think it's time to say goodbye, but we'll just put that with random stuff right now. I've cleaned the bottom of there and we can start putting things back in an orderly fashion um, but I do have this big pile of pyjamas here but because I have so many the ones at the bottom of the pile never get worn and the ones at the top of the pile keep getting worn and rewashed constantly. To be honest I only prefer like five or six pairs of my pyjamas so I might just condense them right down and just have a couple pairs in my wardrobe. I have them in this tub which I got from a car boot sale last year. This was like five pound for this one and a shorter smaller one which is a really good bargain and it serves as a really good pyjama basket if I don't overfill it otherwise I just never reach down at the bottom so let's put that back in its place because I like that there it has a purpose it's underneath the long dresses and now I just have to go through all these so my biggest issue I'm just going to sit in my wardrobe is white t-shirts I have white t-shirts that I have in my proper wardrobe when they get a stain or they go a little bit discoloured, I don't get rid of them. I just move them in my pyjamas. So I have tons of white t-shirts that I wear as pyjamas and I don't wear them all or I don't like them all. So I'm going to get rid of some. So I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five pairs of pyjama bottoms. Can you tell I like stripes? <laughs> um, one ninety. this is like a full length one, which is really pretty. And then here I've just got an assortment of white t-shirts that I like to wear with these or if I'm working in the garden or something. All of that is to go. The heated blanket is my mum's, so I'm going to give that back to her. But everything else can go. They're just mismatched sets or things that I don't like to wear. 
so i think we'll move on to shoes because that's the other thing that i want in here um i would like this to be where i store all my work stuff so on a weekend when i'm not using my work monitor i'd like to put that in here but i don't think i'm gonna have the room we'll see if i can make it work but i don't think i will um because i do have quite a lot of shoes and then i just have my work bag that i always keep in this wardrobe as well just so it's out the way but i've got my work laptop in in there i've got a notebook hdmi cable and the charger and because that's quite a thin bag i wonder if i can just squeeze that down there for the weekends doesn't look the nicest but at least it's out the way i also forgot about my snuddy that needs to go in my wardrobe as well but it actually goes into a heart shape pillow so i'm just going to push it all through and then i don't have to store this giant blanket thing Oh yeah, little cushion. I'll pop that in there as well. Okay. Shoes. We've got lots. I got these wedge shoes from River Island and I like them because I had a leather um, toe piece here and on the back so I could wipe them clean. But I didn't think about this little fabric piece across the toes because that's really dirty now and I have no idea how I'm going to clean that. Um, they're also very sticky so I'm gonna have to give those a clean at some point and these boots are all squished out of shape because they were on the bottom which isn't ideal so the majority of shoes that I've got in front of me are sandals or trainers because that is what I grab daily so the ones I want to keep uh, these ones because I wear these with tights and dresses in the office I also want to keep my new Zara ones I've worn these a couple times and they're really comfortable so I want to keep wearing them throughout summer these ones which are again a newest pair but I really like those with jeans for work um, I also have my gold dad sandals from Primark which go with everything so I'm going to keep those out and then these ones can go upstairs I typically wear these in the winter so I'm going to put those with my winter stuff these I'll put in my occasion dress box because I can't see myself wearing these other than on holiday or at a wedding um, and then everything else can just go upstairs I don't need Converse I don't wear those I don't wear those much anymore those look wrecked so I'm going to put those in storage and then see if I can find a replacement pair things from there are just bags with stuff in so I've got a mouse mat um, this is a book that I used during my year two revision at uni so this is marketing Jim do you want to come in come on in this way over there over there good boy <laughs> can't go 10 minutes without a moving room where I'm at it's pretty cool but I don't need that in my wardrobe so I can go upstairs Um, have this little tripod thing for my phone which is quite handy actually so I'm going to put that out on my desk because I've been filming a lot more for TikTok and Shorts I think I got that from Shein for like £2 if you're interested in one and that's just an empty bag now what's this one? I've got this little tote bag from River Island that can go in my car for when I go shopping we have some straps off my adidas shoes which I need to add on so I don't lose them a uh, festival bag that comes in handy every year so I need to put that somewhere where I'll remember tripod bag, body spray, this can go in the bathroom another tote bag that I use for work, this one's inside out I don't think there's anything in there so I might again put this in my car just so I've got another tote bag for when I've got the shop Um. okay we're back to this big tote bag now and this has my old laptop in unfortunately no charger so i have no idea where it could be but i need to keep that safe and then in the bottom we can finally get rid of the mirror questions don't need those and that's another empty bag so all of these bags can get folded up and put in my car because i always have bags inside the house for when i'm preparing to go food shopping but i never have any bags in my car just in case I'm going food shopping that day, so done, done, and done.
and this is how it looks it's not perfect but it's much better than what it was my dad did also say he'd build me some shoe shelves um that go left to right across the full wardrobe which will be nice but until that is done this is the situation and now let's move up here where the coats are because i haven't been wearing any coats and this wardrobe's full of them newest waistcoat from asos love this not going anywhere i need a chair now i can throw things over the chair keep this dress really cute might wear that to a festival it's from zara my birthday dress which i'll be wearing next weekend when my friends come and then this dress which i got from a recent car boot sale i washed it i've tried it on it's a little bit too short and i don't think it'll work so i'm going to see if my niece wants it I have my Halara tennis dress, which I'm saving for when my friends come next weekend. We're hosting a sports day and we've got loads of drinking and exercise themed games to play. So that'll come in handy. And then I've also got this dress that I wore at my best friend's wedding. It's from Pretty Lavish. It's really pretty, perfect for holiday. So I don't want to put it in storage, even though I don't have another occasion to wear it. Just in case something comes up. And then the only things left in there are just some small leather jackets that I'll wear over dresses and then some blazers that I wear every single week to the office. We did quite a good job. This is everything on the floor that's going in storage or that I'm getting rid of to my nieces. This is everything that needs to go back in. So it looks like a lot, but I think we're going to have a lot of space left. That looks much better. So the rail that they're all hung on isn't born in the middle anymore, which is a good sign. And we've got lots of space for the summer clothes that I need to bring down from upstairs. But now it's time to move on to wardrobe number two. I'm gonna start with the top part because that seems easier. And I need my trusty chair again so I can balance everything on it. As I'm going through it, and I'm gonna empty all the bags off there. I keep bringing more bags down from upstairs to go with an outfit and then I just end up with too many. So I'm going to start with the jumpers Ugh. because obviously we don't want any jumpers in our wardrobe. So I've got my work jumper, a Supreme jumper, Zach can have that. Um, okay, nice knitted jumper, 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 yep. I've honestly got about 20 black t-shirts that are all plain black, but they all fit so differently that I keep them all. But my wardrobe's just full of plain black and plain white t-shirts. all sorted now and I've just got two waistcoats that I'm going to move into the other one just so they're all in the same place. Uh, this wardrobe has only white and gold hangers, the other one has either white wooden hangers for the coat with gold handles or black and gold so I need to swap the hangers out as well. I really like this one, I got it from Primark around Christmas time. 
I was gonna get a black one and I wish I did but I just bought the grey instead and I love it I wear it all the time and I think it goes with quite a lot it adds like a really nice just accessory to an outfit like it doesn't serve a purpose it's not really warm but it looks cute and then this black suit material waistcoat is one that I got from Zara in the sale I think for £20 and again I just like to wear this over a t-shirt or a dress just as a layering piece So this pile here is all the dresses and coats that need to go in storage or I need to get rid of them. So I'm going to go through them all and get all the hangers and fold them up. Time for the trousers. I've got loads here and I don't wear them all. I've gone from having no jeans to loads of jeans so I need to condense them all down because this isn't manageable. But, obviously, love those. Um, oh, Maybe for a festival. I've also got a black, a brown and a leopard print belt. Two of the black belts here. I only like to wear this one but it's ruined. It's just so ugly now because it's all broken. So I really need to venture into other belts but I just, I don't want to. I've got the stuff that I'm keeping here on this chair. Um, there's quite a lot still but delightful well we'll just throw them all on the floor <clears throat> but before we put them back in I'm gonna empty the bottom because it's gonna be easier to clean if I don't have all my trousers there <laughs> I've found my charger thankfully I've managed to condense all my tech accessories into this box. This is just an old Kenzo Weld perfume box. And then all my sort of makeup that I don't use every single day, things that I might need for a special occasion, glittery stuff, um, backup foundation, that's all in this 
Burberry perfume box. So I'm going to pop them in the bottom of here and maybe use them as a stand for some handbags because I've rejigged my wardrobe setup. So I'll show you where everything's been moved to shortly, but the sun's setting, it's getting a bit dark and I'm getting tired. So I just want to get everything in so I can have a clean room. <laughs> And then the last bag is the one I've been using currently. So it's this nice boho straw bag from Primark. I've got some chewing gum and two cola lollies inside from the last car boot sale I went to. I need to put my purse back in there. I don't know where it's at. I think it's in a tote bag. I do also need to bring down the summer clothes from upstairs, but I think that's definitely a job for tomorrow because my office is a mess and I need to clean it up before I go to sleep. It's five to nine, so I'm gonna make a cup of tea and then I'll come back to you when I start bagging everything up to go in storage. It's the next day now and I'm just about to head out to go to a car boot sale so there'll probably be a video coming at some point about that. But I wanted to show you what the wardrobes look like after I finished working on them last night. The lighting was really bad and I had to put my camera on charge so I didn't film anything or I didn't film much. But we've got a few things to finish off later today which I'll do when I get back from the car boot sale. But I want to show you what the wardrobes look like because I'm very proud of them. So we'll start with this one because this has had the main changes. Um, so before, the bottom here was quite cluttered because I had my drawers in which meant that all my clothes had to be shoved over this way and it meant that that gap was always wasted. Um, so I've moved that into there and here I've got my shoes in the bottom, bags, which are a little bit nicer to see and they take up less room so my clothes can just hang a little bit more freely. But I've got my belts here where I used to have the dead space and I'm not sure on how I've hung them but it makes it easy to see the buckles and decide which one I want and then I've got shorts, skirts, longer skirts, jeans, trousers, patterned trousers or coloured trousers and then I go into my jeans where I start light to dark and then I've got joggies, exercise leggings and then exercise shorts and skirts at the back there. Um, Shoes, I've just got them in the bottom like I did in the other one. Here I've got all my bags and then that straw bag at the back just has all my smaller, cheaper bags. And then here, I don't really have a place for these but this is my big hard drive, it's like 6 terabytes, so it's huge. And then I've also got my drone and my camera case. I do need a new camera case as you can see, but that one's okay for now. And then as we move up, I've got black vests, coloured vests, T-shirts, white shirts, black shirts, um, pattern shirts, jumpers and then a hoodie at the back just in case it gets cold. And then this is where I'm storing my perfume and jewellery. I do have some in the other wardrobe as well but I've got some of my more expensive necklaces that I wear regularly just hanging at the back here. I've got my perfumes and then I've got my Polaroid camera as well. And then here just an assortment of cheaper jewellery that is more costumey that I get from TK Maxx or Primark. And it's just easy to get to there. And then if we go on the other one, and then this one's also had a transformation. So nothing's changed up top here. We've still got our long dresses, longer coats, blazers, lighter jackets, waistcoats, and then sort of like vests at the end there. But in the bottom, this is where I keep my chest of drawers, which has my underwear, socks, and bras my Dyson air wrap, my hair tools, my pyjamas, my work bag and then this is where I keep all my jewellery boxes most of these are empty but I also keep some statement pieces in there which I don't grab regularly um, just so they don't take up room in my other one this is my pencil case that I use around the house and then this has just all my essentials in for work and just if I'm taking a big bag somewhere I'll just take this it's got my work card, a lint roller, ibuprofen what else does I have? perfume, a phone charger, so that's just, you know, the essentials. A lolly, of course. 
But when I get back from the car boot sale, I'm going to bring down my summer clothes, finish organising all my clothes, and then I'm going to go through my underwear drawers and maybe sort out what's on my desk because here, sorry, excuse me, I've just ironed. I have this marble box on my desk and I just shove jewellery in there when I don't want to wear it anymore. So I've got an anklet, I've got bubbles, I've got hair ties, I've got earrings, rings, and they're going to get ruined in there. So I need to put them in the boxes and organise my jewellery a little bit more. So if we've got time later today, that's what we'll do. So I'm going to head to the boot sale now and I'll check in with you in literally a second. <laughs> 